Hi everyone. Right then, today's video we're going to make something a card with all of this on the table here, like a magician. I've got it. Let me just get Bubba on the bed. Right, I'm back. Right then, yeah, like a magician, I magic tool this for you to show you what we're going to be working with. So these are the flowers we made yesterday. So those are going on. I've done some paper punch little tiny flowers. I've uh, pre-readied this little doggy picture ready with my cardboard strengthener thingy I do painted a little key that a friend gave me some little wooden pieces look that she gave me so I painted those ready because they take a while to dry and then I've also got this little um, silver metal charm that I might put on I've got some of the leaves ready, some of them are not ready. I'm going to go through that with you. So, cut down the video. I've got a little, some few little coloured balls there, which I might use. Right then, Julie, stop waffling. Let's get on with it. Right then, prepared the card. So, back in the middle, front, okay? So, we're going to be using this pretty gingham very pale grey and white I've strengthened the back with the cardboard again with the spaces on so already got that prepared -o. let's begin so let's first of all get this stuck down first I normally distress the outer edge, but I don't want to on this gingham one. I've distressed the doggy picture one, so that'll be enough for me. So just press down a little bit, make sure we're, we're level and secure. Okay. We've got a little bit of um, sisal, this is called. This is a little bit fibery. I think they make ropes out of sisal. I think this is just like a, a fibre that they make ropes and string from but uh, so we'll put that there for the flowers let's get Mr Doggy down so none of this car's been planned so ain't got a clue where we're going with it as yet but I like him there okay do we like him there yeah, we put it. We put him level today. Normally, we do him on uh, pictures on a wonk, but we'll do him level today down here, okay? Because let's move that out of the way a minute so I can see if doggy's level. Yeah, your level doggy doesn't look like you've been drinking. Let's get Mr. Sissel back on. Let's spread him out a little bit. All right then. I've already prepared the flower with me other little spacey sponge on. So I can fluff these up a bit. I've had the card line on them so they've gone a bit flat. Okay. So one flower we shall put up here. Okay. And then let's fluff this one up a little bit. We shall have this one down there or there or down there. There, that's where we shall have this one. Move the sisal a little bit. Oh, the glue is out. Okay. So let them go on like that. Let's start putting some leaves on. These I haven't bent yet, but I do on the crease. I like to just bend them into the centre, just so it gives a little bit more dimension. So then we plan where we would like these leaves. Okay, you could always, if you wanted to, put your leaves down. Um, first, 
and then lay the flowers on. I always like to do it after I've put the flowers down because you can see how much you want sticking out. So again, I always only fold the top half of it so then it still shows the fatness of the leaf on that one end. A little bit of glow, lift up out of the way with a pokey tool. There we go. Let's have a look. Bubba is still awake, so we might start being Anors, which is British for a pain in the arse. Right then, let's get these these little spriggy things here are from the Tim Sizzix, it is Tim Holtz uh, Wildlife um, Flowers. So let's bend them a little bit, not loads because they're very delicate you see you can't bend too much because they're on little sprigs in there and then you'll weaken them and they'll break. So we don't want that happening do we? No, we don't want that happening. So we'll have that one underneath. Like there, I spotted a glue string, can't leave on, I'm obsessed with getting them. And then we've got another one, so. Where shall we put this one? there a lot so it can go underneath and be stuck so I've linked it underneath like that and then we'll put a little bit of glue on that leaf there so when we flap it over now look and then we just pat him down okay so glue him down we want some lift still on the outer edge of the flower don't want to glue it down too flat okay so we could do a little bit under there so fold the little stalky bit put a little bit of glue on and then we go in underneath the doggy picture look and then put a little bit of glue on there so when you flap him over yeah that looks like it's growing from beneath doggy picture now like that I've not done that before I put things underneath things before but not underneath there I normally put them underneath the main bit okay I've got another bit here I might put him some on the corner up here so again fold that like that and then a little bit on there like that and then we'll put it in the corner okay I never really plan any cards out not very often I do have a mess sometimes if I'm literally proper at a blank but this one is just fly by the seat of my pants that's how I like to do cards let's have a look okay now we need some more sprigs and leaves so because i'm going to left some to color with you we're going to do that now so let me get this spare piece of paper so we don't make a mess okay so here we are and then 
This base colour that I've done the leaves um, is distressing old paper. That's that colour. It's like a pale sagey green. And then on the end, I want some navy blue. So we're keeping in the colour scheme. Again, how to blend. I'm going to do a video on how to blend and what tools to use. So we can get nice blends on different, with different tools and stuff. Because it helps people when they first start out, you see. I didn't have a clue how to blend. I want to see some of what work I did. The key is to just circle. Can you see I'm circling half on the project and half off? And that's the key to be able to get a dark outer edge and also the lighter you go with your sponge the lighter application with colour you get the more you press on the deeper the colour goes okay so with these little ones here all I did was just I wanted it just very very much on the ends that, that's all not go too overboard with the blue because the blue is such a strong colour it can easily overtake okay so that's the colouring done so I thought I'd do a bit of that with you this time Let's move dirty card out the way Let's get Mr. Doggy back. I always near enough cut dies up. So this was one in one shape. So I like to cut them up and use them in different ways. So I like to chop that bit up. And then I'm going to fold the leaves again. Gonna put oh oh crikey O'Reilly the beadies are going on a run did I save any oh I might have dropped that one there we go so we'll have this one at the top half of the card here okay then way up Then I think I'm going to split the leaves and put some there. Mind you, some gaps are nice to have. You don't want the gaps all to be filled in. Sometimes I can't stop myself. Oh, that's not sticking. Stick down, Mr. Leaf. Oh, I've got some sisal sticking up. That's why he wasn't sticking. And then we'll put the other leaf in the other bit. So then we've got the two sprigs here. Could do we'll leave that bit out for a bit. Yeah, leave those bits out for a bit because we might not use those bits. Like sometimes I get loads of bits out and not use them all. Okay. So. Sometimes you want to see the whole heart. Like that. So 
So we'll put Mr. Hart there. Okay, a lot of glue leakage there, Julie. Let's get in to rectify that straight away. Yeah, we can peel that off, no problem. Okay, and then we've got another little heart that can go on top. Like that. Or we could put it there, or... That looks nice because it's on more of a whiter background. Less glue now. Okay. And then we've got a little key. Well, not a little key. I like the big key. I like the big key. What you could do is you could dangle it from a little piece of... Um, waxed thread could leave it dangling i didn't want it dangling um what i'm going to do i'm going to remove that leaf so we can see because the head of the key there where your finger goes is really pretty so i quite like that there so i'll put mr key Let's scrape that off. There we go. Well, um, just let me get some corded cotton stuff. No, we need some white, I think. Just some waxed cord. Let's see if the dragonfly will go in. Hell yes. I wonder if it will go in the sides of his wing. Uh, nope. He's not going in the side of his wing. Okay. So, let's, that looks pretty. Okay, and then I'm gonna dangle that from there. So we want some to fold over. I wanna cut a little bit off the ends and you'll see where I'm going to put it out so first of all make it easier for me I'm going to glue these two ends together like that no easier to control them and then put a little bit of glue on measure where you want him and then lift up and then glue down on the back of the doggy picture like that okay let's have a look and then that then will freely dangle and move when they have a look at the card that'll look pretty that will so we did cut some um out of some greys and white little flowers like that yeah we'll put a couple of them down we won't, we won't go mental no need no need to go mental less is more that i keep telling myself less is more but if you like my work you know less is, more is always less if you like the way I do cards, pile it all on and then put the white in the middle and then it shows the little 
flower up more than you say. You've got the white, the blue on the white background and the white on the blue flower. And then we'll put a, some little blue bits in the flower itself. Okay, so let's get another one. And then we can put one there. If you say, oh, Julie, I didn't like them little flowers, you make the colour you don't put the flowers in. Change it up to how you like it. Make it your own. Then put the one on. These are just paper punch. Yeah, look. You put the paper in them. Oh, I've got some. Oh, I don't want to use that one, do I? So you put your paper in like that. And you just you just press it. That's too thick that one, but you press it in, and a little flower comes out. So like magic. Oh oh, that one went on the floor. Let's see where we want. Probably want another one up there. Let's have a look. Yeah, put one there. Press that one down, and then. I'll get a lighter one there. Yeah, like that. Like it a lot. What's that random one doing there? Where's that gone? Oh, it's getting tangled up. Right then, I think that is enough. Let's put blue middles in the flowers now let me find my blue pen you watch I won't be able to find my blue pen now crikey O'Reilly it's a navy blue pen oh I've got it out already talk about organised here we go just a marker pen navy blue and then draw your little circle in like that Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? Right then. Let's see if we want some beads on. These look black, but the navy blue. Oh, these look a bit flat. Let's push. There we go. Now, always like a couple of beads. Don't need to go too mental. But I do like to put on... A few. We've got some greys, navy blues and whites to match the card, of course. Okay, and then we'll put a white one on. These are just acrylic beads that you can get. I get mine from eBay. They're quite cheap because they're just acrylic. Get the glue strings off. Glue strings hide, you see, because of the sisal's really fine, and sometimes they they sneaky they are. They hide. I bet you could see the top of my head then, couldn't you? Right then, let's put a one random one down there because I like a, just a random little rogue bead now and again, and on his own down here. And probably one up there. We'll have a grey one up there. I use the pokey tool so I can control the beads a little bit better. Look, you just slide them off and then hold it on the glue. And then ping it off. Um, let's put another one up near the key. grey one and I 
fight one. There we go. Let's have a, a close look at it now. Yeah, I quite like that. Probably put the leaf back a little bit further underneath there. So he doesn't so he's there but he's not blocking the key. Right then, let's add a little bit of sparkle with my sparkle paint. Let's get that out. So this is like it's got shimmer in and you just oh it's leaking. You just give it a, a whistle with the shakiness. Okay. Oh then we open them up. Get a clean like a brush. Okay. And then gonna go oh yes that brings that lovely that's so nice okay I don't paint things straight away I like to see if I like them plain first but I like that and I'm gonna do a little bit on that heart there. Probably won't see a lot of it on camera because it is just like a very fine shimmer. That'd be enough. Okay, let's have a look at that now. Yeah, I think put my lid on it. Yeah, these are from Spectrum Noir, just sparkle varnishes. It's like, uh, it's lovely. You get three pots um, in a pack. They do all different kinds of colours too. So that one's just the clear, so you can paint it on anything. So I wonder if you can see. Let's shine the light on it, you might see. You see the shimmer in it, so pretty. So turn that off because it drowns everything out. Yeah, I'm really happy with how that turned out. And then that little free little charm dangles on its own. So I like that. I hope you like watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.